Right, so we're ready now to um, to do the final thicknessing of the ash and to put the taper in, or rather to sand the taper to its finished dimensions. It's roughed out like we did um, on the previous video, uh, but we want to take it down now to 12 mil here in the middle and 3 mil at the end. Now to do that, we are going to use the sander thicknesser in conjunction with this sledge. The sledge essentially is going to go through the sander thicknesser like so with the ash clamped to it. But this end of the sledge needs to be higher than this end. The taper is going from 12 to 3 so the difference is 9. That's right, 9. Now I have some chocks here. Uh, we have a piece of 6 mil ply, two pieces of 1.5 mil ply giving me a depth of 9 mil. So what we're going to do with that is, let's have a look, I'll just take this apart, the, the chocks, 9 mil chocks, are going to go just in there. And they're just sitting behind that block. And when we put this table of the sledge back on top of it, a nice tight fit so it's a little bit difficult to get in. There it is. You see, now that's 9 mil higher than it is at that end. Just goes up slowly 9 mil. And that should give with the difference, or sand the difference, the taper in the ash. Now this is just to balance the ash on. We're going to put that strip like that. Make sure it's right at the end and we want to clamp that in place. There it is. Now, I've already adjusted the table, this depth table, so that the core, the center of the ash, is just touching the drum. So what that means now is that this end here is much higher and as we put that through it should sand the whole thing uniformly leaving it 3 mil at one end, 12 mil in the middle. It may take a couple of passes through and essentially it's best to start, I'm going to lower this just a touch, although I've set it I'm still going to lower it because too much, if we take too much off at this point, everything we've done so far is over, really. And we don't want that to happen. So another thing is, when we're putting this through here, we want to be very careful not to do this or that. If it goes at all like this, it's going to make a hollow in the ash. And then whatever that hollow ends up at, we'll need to take everything else down to that level if we want to salvage it. Um, and if we do that too badly, we'll end up with a piece of ash which won't be strong enough to make the bow. So this is a crucial point in the, uh, in the process, and we want to make sure that we get it right. So we're just going to take a little by little, we'll put the hoover on here because we're going to get a little bit of dust kicked up from this. And I'm going to put this through very slowly and carefully.
All right, that's the first pass. Now I'm going to measure it up and see if we need to take the table up any to get it to its final dimension. Um, measure it. Okay, now one of the things here is we're seeing it wants to be three mil at this tip. If it's a little over three and a half mil, this is okay. We can always take that back down on the tillering process. What we don't want is for it to go any lower than that. Now, we'll just zero that, put it into millimeters. Okay, that's currently saying it's six mil at the end, so we've got plenty time, we've got plenty room there. I just want to look at this. It's taken that down a little bit there. Mm. What we probably want to do is just lift the table a touch. That's going to be enough. And we want to put it through again. Now, once we've got it correct for this side of the limb, we're going to leave the table exactly where it is. We're going to turn the ash around and put the other limb through. Then both limbs should be identical. So here we go. Once more, I want to take another measurement here. It doesn't look like we've lost much there. Okay, it's so now five. I'm going to check this centre though, because it looks like the centre has gone down quite a bit. And we just want to make sure that we don't lose too much in that part there. All right, we've got just 12 in the centre there. And we've got five at this end. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to lift this end up a touch but leave the drum the same and what that should do is take more off the tip of the bow and leave this pretty much as it is. So we want to put about another millimeter under here. We're going to end up there possibly not, not exactly the three that we wanted but it's going to be some it's going to be around the four mark and that's going to be all right. Uh, other than sacrifice the depth here um, we can always take this off as I say in tillery. I think that's going to be pretty close. All right, let's see, and that's four point two mil and we're going to leave it there. This has not taken any more off, so we're still going to have 12 in the middle. So what we want to do at this point is we're leaving everything else the way it was. We're leaving the um, chocks at the same height. We're leaving the table at the same height. And we've simply flipped the limb and clamped it back into place that way. Okay, now, is everything good? Yeah. This one may take a little bit longer to get through, may have to go a little bit slower because obviously this hasn't been dressed at all. Um, so this, is, this will be the first and final pass through for this side. Uh, so we want to be very careful. <laughs> see the line that um, that we put on it yesterday but it's down to the line there and it's just coming up a little bit here but if you recall the um, the core itself was 14 mil and it's taken it down to 12 here so now what we're going to do 
is put that through flat just sufficiently to take that middle 14 down to the 12 which it's achieved here. Now this should just be a couple of passes through and then the ash should be finished ready for gluing. <laughs> everything's yeah we've got four four there and we've got twelve two two there twelve two four okay I'm happy with that that's gonna be that's gonna make a good bow that is it's nicely tapered it's smooth and it's uniform um, that's pretty much ready to go Now what I'm going to do is set up in the same way for the purple heart and run the purple heart through here. It's the same process that we've just gone through here, so we're not going to video it. It's, it's exactly the same thing. And when the purple heart is finished, we're at a point where we can start gluing these three strips together. So we're going to get the form out, we're going to get some glue out, and we're going to do the second part of the gluing, which is putting all of those laminates together to make the actual body of the board. Okay?